Let's work through a punctuation question found in Blue Book Test 5, Module 2 Hard. Students are often familiar with the transition word however at the beginning of a sentence, but may be stumped when it comes to punctuating that word when it's tacked on at the end of a sentence. That's exactly what's happening in this question here, so let's work through it. Latin America is known to have dozens, if not hundreds, of popular dance forms. Only five of these dances are included in international ballroom dance competitions, however. Rumba, samba, cha-cha-cha, paso doble, and jive, the last of which is grouped with the other Latin dances despite not having Latin roots. Which choice completes the text so that it conforms to the conventions of standard English? And then here we go with the same words with differing punctuation marks around the word however. So the big question is, does however belong with the first main clause, or rather the only main clause of the second sentence, or does it belong with this part here of the second sentence, which lists off all of the dances featured in international ballroom dance competitions? So. This first part here, when I say that it's a main clause, that's also known as an independent clause. Independent clauses contain a subject, a verb, and a complete thought. They can stand on their own. If you were to read this, it would make sense and it could just, you could put a period after it and it would be grammatically correct. Only five of these dances are included in international ballroom dance competitions, period. Now, if you were to read this part, Rumba, samba, cha-cha-cha, paso doble, and jive, the last of which is grouped with the other Latin dances despite not having Latin roots. This part right here is a parenthetical. You can just disregard that. Going back to this part here, this is not an independent clause. It's not a complete thought. This is more like a phrase. It lists items, so it does not stand on its own. So to determine where the word however belongs, we have to determine where contrast is needed. Let's go back to the passage. Here in sentence one, this part here, it states that Latin America has many popular dances. Then in sentence two with the main clause, it goes on to say only five of these dances out of hundreds are actually included in these competitions. There is the contrast. So what this means for us is that the word however should be here in this first part, not in the second part. As established, we could put a period after dance competitions, or in this case, after the word however, and it would make sense. So stronger punctuation can go after however. When I say stronger punctuation, I am referring to periods, colons, semicolons, or dashes. Those all signal a break in thought. Weaker punctuation, such as a comma, would not be appropriate. With that in mind, that means choice D is out because it puts a semicolon before however. It's grouping however with the wrong part of the sentence. Now let's go through our other answer choices. What we have here is a colon after the word however. Colons are conventionally used to introduce items in a list, and that's exactly what's happening here in this part of the sentence. So that would be a correct use of a colon. This is looking pretty good, but let me look at choices B and C to see if I can rule them out. Here we have a comma after however. The comma after however is problematic. Without stronger punctuation, there is no clear distinction when the items in a list are being introduced. If you were to just read it with the comma with that weaker pause, it would be hard to make sense of that sentence. So this is incorrect. With choice C, we have a semicolon after however. Now, for semicolons, those are typically used to connect two independent clauses. And as we've established earlier, this part right here is not an independent clause. It's a phrase. So this is not a typical way to use a semicolon. This is incorrect. Which leaves us with choice A. This is the best answer for two reasons. Number one, the strong punctuation mark, in this case a colon, is in the right place after however. And number two, a colon is typically used to introduce items in a list. So. This is correct. 
And there we have it. That wasn't so bad. Don't forget to hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more digital SAT content. Until next time.